Question 29 to 32. When a body uh, floats in still water, the point of application buoyancy force is the center of mass of the part submerged. When log, the density of log is given and the dimensions of the log and it's uniform. It's uh, good to know. And um, there we have it. So, so it looks something like this, like that. And uh, some liquid. Okay, so uh, what is the vertical distance between the center of mass and the center of buoyancy for the log? So we know where the center of mass of the log is because it's uniform. The center of mass is in the center of the log. And uh, that means that it's, um, it is uh, because the, yes, this, this, Length is 0 0.1 meters. Because of that, we know that uh, this is going to be at 0 0.50. So this is 0 0.1. So this here is 0 0.5. So uh, that's not the most complicated thing you'll ever have to deal with. And so uh, besides that, we know that the center of buoyancy um, well, basically they're defining that the center of buoyancy is, um, is the center of mass of the part of the body that is submerged. So we're going to only look now at the part of the body that is submerged and we're going to find its center. Now we're told that this is here is um, zero point. Uh, sorry, 0 0.03, 0 0.03. So if, if this is 0 0.03 and we need the half point of what is submerged, that would be 0 0.015, half of 0 0.03, 0 0.015. So if we put 0 0.015 here at this point, we would have 0.5, minus 0 0.015 and that would give us this difference here okay so we just subtract these two to get this um, distance here which is what we're being asked for and of course you just look at that it's just like 50 minus 15 would be 35 um, so uh, this minus uh, this would be 0 .0, 0.035 yeah, because uh, my zero is here. Okay, so you can just check the numbers. Um, uh, we have uh, point 0.1, half of that is point 0.05, uh, then we have point 0.015, and so uh, this is point 0.035. And so uh, the answer is D, 29 is D, uh, and that's meters. And of course, during the exam, by the way, during the exam, you're always checking units, making sure you're dealing in meters and there's no centimeters being, you know, brought into the play or whatever. Okay, question number 30. What is the density of the log? Well, we know how much is submerged, um, so it's very easy to calculate the density because of a, you know, a wonderful concept called specific gravity. And specific gravity is the density of a substance over the uh, density of uh, water. So, and what specific gravity tells you, this, this um, ratio, is it tells you how much of the substance is underwater. So if, if, if you have something with a specific gravity of 0.7, it means 70% of it is underwater. If you have something with a specific gravity of uh, uh, 0.9, it means 90% would be below the surface of the water. And if you have a specific gravity of one or greater than one, it means that it would be, uh, all of it will be below the surface of water. So um, for, for the specific gravity, we, we, we know how much is submerged. It's 0 0.03 out of 0 0.1. So that's 0 0.03 out of 0 0.1, which is equal to 0 0.3, of course. And then, so we have, we know 30% is below the surface of the water. That is the ratio of the density of the substance to the density of water. And we know that the density of water is, is 1,000. So we just need to multiply both sides by 1,000. And that means uh, the density of the substance, which is wood, 
therefore the density of the wood is going to be um, 300. So uh, 300 kilograms per meter cubed, just like uh, that of the water. So uh, question 31, suppose an object of 20 kilograms mass is placed on the log. Line of action placed through it, okay. So an object, you know, if, if an object is, is, you know, completely or partially submerged uh, in fluid, it's going to experience a, a buoyancy force, you know, um, because this is what we have. We have we have the object's weight downwards, right? It's the weight mg downwards, but it's not moving, right? So if it's not moving, that means there must be a counteracting force, and that is the buoyancy force, Fb. And, and there's no net force, it's just all um, in, in equilibrium, and, um, and this is a counterbalancing force. And so the, f the force, uh, the buoyancy force, is going to be equal um, to the weight here. And so we have that the uh, buoyancy force, Fb, is equal to the weight, which is um, mg. And um, another way to, uh, to, to write this, you know that this is mass, and uh, mass is density times volume, right? Because density is mass over volume. So um, um, you can write this equation this way. So this is density, rho, and um, this is uh, the volume, and this is gravity. Now, you know, just, uh, just keep in mind that the, the most that this can um, displace, the most water that, that, that this can displace would be equal to the weight. That's the most that it can, and this is what this is saying, that the buoyancy force is equal to the weight. So here we have the uh, mass, which is of the object, okay? And here we're going to have the density of the fluid which is being uh, displaced. So, and obviously gravity is going to um, cancel. So we use the mass of the object, which is, it's 20 kilograms. So we have 20 kilograms, and then we have um, the uh, volume, which is what we're looking for, and then we have the density, um, which is 1,000. So we'll divide both sides by 1,000. And so the volume is just 0 0.02. Okay, so moving along, um, question 32. Suppose an object is placed on the log and the line of action passes its weight center. The object is to completely submerge the log, which of the following is closest to the smallest mass that the object can have. So to completely submerge, uh, to completely submerge, it does mean that overall, the average density here has to be equal to the density of the water. And therefore, the specific gravity would be equal to 1, and etc, etc. So, first of all, um, I'm going to, to make sure that the density here is going to be equal to that of the density of water overall. I need to get the volume of the log. What's the size of the log? Then I'll need to, once I have the volume of the log, then I can get its, um, I can, and I know the mass of the log already. So I'll take the volume of the log, the mass of the log, then I'll know how much extra mass I need to create a density that would be equal to that of water. So first, um, let's get the volume of the log. So um, what information we have? We have the density, okay, uh, the density we have already, which was 300. The volume, uh, which we would, you know, we need to calculate, which is going to be uh, 0.1 times 0.2, because point, uh, these are the, um, the dimensions that we're given. 0.1 times 0.2 times 2 meters, okay, that's in the second paragraph. So that's uh, um, two times uh, 0.1, so that's, uh, that's four times 10 to the minus two. So we have four times 10 to the minus two is the volume in meters cubed. Four times 10 to the minus two, uh, volume in meters cubed. And so uh, this is going to give us the, um, 
the mass of the log. So that's 3 times 4 is 12, and 2 zeros times 10 to the minus 2 is, uh, well, that just sort of um, disappears now, doesn't it? So we have, two, uh, we have 12 kilograms as being the mass of the log. So we know what the, the volume is, um, which is 4 times 10 to the minus 2, and we know the density that we need to get to. We need to have the same density as uh, water. So we need some mass x divided by the volume of the log, 10 to the minus 2, in order to get to the density of water. Okay, so this is uh, mass per volume, and this is the density in mass per volume. So multiply both sides by 4 times 10 to the minus 2, noticing that there's two zeros there then x would be equal to uh, 40. So we have x equal to 40. This is the mass that would sink um, that, this log so that it would be below the surface of the water. It doesn't mean that it will go all the way to the bottom, but it definitely will be below the surface uh, of the water. If the density was greater than that of water, then the log would sink all the way to the bottom um, and so on but at least it's going to sink to be below the surface if it has a total mass of 40 kilograms but the log already has a mass of 12 kilograms so we have to do 40 minus 12 and that is the additional mass that we would have to add which is 28 kilograms if you want to uh, learn more about uh, buoyancy and Archimedes' uh, principle, uh, you can read about it in physics.6.1.2. <laughs> there we go.